Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night, as the Marauders of Dodgers version 2 maintain an outer hold in the mosh pit of Cutlass Keys. And the Marauders of Big Farm hold on to the Gator Sanctuary in the swamplands of Reek Water. KOTT News were in Far Harbor and spoke with a local barista about the state of affairs. I ran into chompers out in uh, Evanscale fighting against some of those Cyclopeans. Uh, any particular reason why he's back in the cage? Uh, John, we've been slowly trying to reacclimate him to his natural habitat. You know, you just can't throw a caged animal out there into the open off the rip. Okay, a little controlled chaos at first, huh? Yeah, you know, it's it's like a it's like a bruiser, you know, you, you gotta keep them on their leash, but when you let them off, you know, their combo's coming out. What's next for Chompers? Are we gonna let him out again soon? Should we expect to see him out on the battlefield? Yeah, John, he should, uh, he should be heading out. We're gonna, you know, try like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule with him, you know, just to get him reacclimated, and, uh, yeah. You have earned your championship trophy for yet another victory. <laughs> Oh, thank you, John. Thank you. A little champagne. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, one last thing I gotta, I gotta ask the people of Aternum. Um, let's just get a poll going down in the comments. Uh, you know, post what is your favorite uh, color of crayon? Uh, my favorite color crayon uh, is is the orange flavor. Later in Spyglass Ridge, KOTT News caught up with a Dodger representative to get their opinion about the fight. Uh, it, it was okay. I mean, sloppy. Nothing like our last war. Uh, people had uh, expectations of going into it uh, being a bad war, but, I mean, we still did our job. We held them the same. It was just not to our expectations. Going to have to go look at the VODs and see what you can do to tighten up your defense a little bit, huh? Yeah, just um, not, not really. I, it was fine. <laughs> you got to pe get people to listen when it's uh, that bad, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> Can't rein them yeah. in because they're running wild. I see. I understand. Exactly. Well, that's rough, but maybe you'll get another one pretty soon. Any ambitions to go out and try to attack another region? Yeah, we're we're working up. We're building our our um, our soldiers up. Uh, we really want to uh, attempt some good wars, and we just don't want to be holding CK forever. So we have ambitions, but we're not going to rush them. Well, do you have anything else going on with the company? Any plans uh, to hang out at the mosh pit? Are you guys dealing with the uh, incursion forces of the Cyclops? We're leaving the, the Cyclops to those uh, those uh, territory leaders up there. We're more focused on upgrading our town back to what it was uh, before uh, the winter break. Everybody can do some town boards, get it done. We're almost there. In related news, KOTT news crews took to OPRs last night to get in some light combat training. The action was intense, with one fight being a blowout and the other being a close victory for Team Blue. Returning to our ongoing coverage of the incursion attempts being made in the Northern Territories by Cyclopean invaders, citizens of Aternum continue to show up en masse and sufficiently defeat the intruders before they manage to do any harm. KOTT would encourage its subscribers to get their reps in now before people stop coming and you have to learn the mechanics to beat them. Two townships in need of infrastructure repair after last night's affairs. Citizens are encouraged to stop by the mission boards outside of City Hall to assist in relief efforts. Looking at the weather for today, and for anyone interested in getting some basics knocked out around town, this afternoon is the day to do it. Because tonight will not be a good time to do anything outside, as the corruption forces of the North have been seen marching on 40% of the island. Two submissions for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight, brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. With special thanks to the Craft Services crew. If you'd like to support KOTT News, Patreon is currently the best way. First up, the Syndicate members of Deathmarked Reincarnated attack the Covenant hero worshippers of Outcast for control of the recently settled region of Eden Grove. Deathmarked Reincarnated move north as the temperatures begin to level out and position themselves to capture the fertile region to offset the impact of the eternal frost. 
outcast, left uncontested in the grove throughout the last two weeks, have been able to move their armies to battle across the map. But how many will come back to defend is unknown. Meanwhile, the marauders of Pharmamentals assail the syndicate members of Fresh Bench for control of the eastern archipelago of the Restless Shore. Pharmamentals, looking for a place to comfortably release chompers, set camp at the bottom of the mud hill, preparing to let loose their cold-blooded reptilian friend. Fresh Bench members, standing ready atop the mud hill, stoically gaze across the battlefield, past the butterfly on the nearby hyssop, and squarely at the animals below them. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.